I'm David Dorsey. And I'm Marcus Payne McNair. And we're here with the 49th Street, Street News. Really, bro? Yes. Really? You in the way? I think they should. But you in the way. But on to the real news. We have the Keystones coming up next week, May 13th through May 20th. So you know how important this test is. Better make sure that you're studying for it or you will fail and Ms. Dean will see you next year. So just remember, Keystones, next week, study. And we have a very important person who inspires many people around the world for this week. Her name is An San Suu Kyi. And she is well known mostly around the world for her being a freedom fighter for her country of Burma, for democracy. And now, hope you enjoyed our podcast for now. We'll see you later. Um, we're here today. Um, it's Joe, Chop, and Dolph in the morning with sports. And we were Coach Kuchama today, talking about the baseball team. I'm Joe. I'm Chop. And I'm Dolph. Here we go. Um, Coach Chichamba, I was going to ask some questions for you. Right, let's hear them. I was wondering, what's the faults of the team? Our faults of the team this year were that we were very young, uh, very inexperienced, and we just needed a lot more practice than we ever got. Um, you know, we had a couple of rainouts this year. Our season got chopped up. Uh, but the ultimate fault was that we were inexperienced. We were very young and inexperienced. We only had about four guys who had ever played baseball before in their entire life. What can you improve on? I think we can improve on the fundamentals, catching, throwing where we want to, and hitting the baseball as well, um, running bases, every aspect we need to. The simple things that people take for granted, we need to improve on them. Um, who actually pitches? Our two pitchers, we had a couple guys this year. Our main two pitchers were Rashawn Parent, and Kyan Tyler was our starter, our main starter, who threw the bulk of our innings this year. Uh, and he did a great job. Actually, in his last pitching performance, he struck out 10 batters uh, in four innings. So that's 10 out of the 12 outs. He actually struck 10 guys out. He only had to make two plays in the field. That's good. Mm -hmm. What's some good things about the team? The good thing, the best thing, is that we're very young. Uh, our team is made up of the majority of ninth and 10th graders. So we have a lot of returning players. We're only losing. Uh, four seniors, so we're going to be a young team. We're going to have a lot of people back, and we're going to get at it early next year. What um, was your record last year? Our record last year, we were 2-6 and six last year. We did not win a game this year. Uh, we lost three games in the top of the last inning. Um, yeah, so we have a lot of improving to do this year. I would say so, right? So are you going to work? Before the season starts next year, you're going to work on some things like in the summertime just to get the team together? In the summertime, I have looked into some of the leagues around here. Uh, I spoke with actually the coach from U-City. He runs a program. Um, I'm trying to get some of our players into that, um, just playing baseball over the summer, getting used to it, and uh, you know, just playing the game more because that's the only way that you get better is by playing the game more. How do you think, the re how do you think next season will go? Next season, I'm going to come in with high expectations because we're going to be younger and we're going to have guys who have been experienced. So that nervousness of having playing a game that you've never played for the first time is gone. Um, next year, we know what to expect. We could build on what we learned this year with those guys who have never played before. And uh, hopefully, we could you know, bring home a lot more W's than losses like this year. Well, what made you start coaching baseball? I played baseball my entire life. Uh, played starting when I was about three years old. I started playing. I uh, played through high school, got the scholarship for college, and then I immediately started coaching right after college because I love baseball. And I like to play and I like to teach other people how to play. Uh, good luck next year. Wish you the best of luck. We appreciate it, guys. Thank you for your time. That was Coach Kachaba. It's Dov Chop. Enjoy in the morning. We'll see you next time. Just give me a second. Man, give me, give me the pen. I want to look at Bert. Thank you. Oh, I need that for class. You'll be all right. Walk it off. So, welcome back. Just a reminder, I just want to remind everybody, please study up for the Keystones. It's May 13th through May 20th. Please study up. I don't want anybody to fail. 
this has been the podcast. This has been our podcast from us to you. Thank you. Have a good day.